Hey Scorpio, it's out This time this is a love reading. This is dedicated to the lovers. We're going to get a, I'm determined to get a love message out because I want to know too, right? I'm nosy. I love you guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to be notified every time I do post a new video. Like, comment, share, show your love and support as always. Please keep it positive. If you would like a personal reading, I am doing a few over the next few days. Hit me up. That information is in the description box below or, or the next two days. Um, or few, whatever, right? I'm taking a few here and there. Um... If you would like to donate, I do have a GoFundMe link set up in the description box below. Many of you guys know I've been out of work since May. I've had some things going on and, um, you know, it's it's been a minute. We have two more months and we're just trying to make it through. Uh, my GoFundMe link is in the description box below. If you would donate, anything would be appreciated. I'm going through uh, preventative chemo at the moment and uh, I'm just trying to make it through it, right? So... Thank you for all the love and support I've been showing you guys are truly, truly amazing and made my life so much. Um, just you've brought so much love and light to my life. It's even the word, like I say, every reading, the words, the positive words, the love, all that beautiful energy, just that vibration, guys, is just the most beautiful thing in the world. So it's all appreciated. And it's only if you can donate it, it's there for people that can, right? So um let's get into it <laughs> right let's see what's going on with my lovers all right so some of you have options if you're single all right bottom of the deck of this deck we've got options showing up let's do oracle first so um some of you could be really daydreaming about somebody or kind of like a daydreaming about options fantasizing at this time if you're single if you're dating around meeting people like you know could this work could this work what's gonna work right so um you might even be hoping something works out with a certain option here but we do have more than one option or choices you got choices or you know, uh, you're blessed with choices here, Scorpio. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, please help me provide. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising with any messages you would like for them to receive. Block any negative energy being sent our way. Archangel Michael, please. Send it back into the universe, into nothingness. Fight our battles with anybody sending any negativity, witchcraft spells, voodoo, hoodoo, whatever negative our way. Uh, amen. Amen, amen. Archangel Michael is definitely a war angel and he will do so. And we love him so much for that. Uh, please protect us with your white light of protection also through the tarot. All right, as we go in. What messages do we have, Spiro? Alone, but not lonely, and it's all in your head. So there's something you could be going on here. You could be feeling like maybe an option, your wishful thinking here. Like maybe you feel like somebody's not into you, like you're into them. It could be all in your head, right? So let go of insecurities at this time in regards to love situations. And then we've got solitude. Um... alone but not lonely this is somebody who's really thinking a lot about you know maybe you're used to being alone right you know i'm i'm alone but not lonely kind of thing right so um you know on one hand maybe you kind of might be scared to kind of dip your toes into a new situation here okay all right spirit guides angels ancestors what messages do we have with the oracle, what other messages do we have with the oracle for Scorpio? Tribal spirit dancer. So some of you could like to dance. Some of you could be um, <clears throat> spirit might be invite advising you to 
to me, that's like movement, right? So if you've been stagnant alone, there's stagnation here. It's like, you gotta get up and go. You gotta get up and move. You gotta get up and meet somebody. You can't say stagnant, right? There's gotta be movement there. You know, this person, if you're single, isn't gonna come just knocking at the door. We wish that would happen, right? Mr. Wright or Mrs. Wright would be like, hello, I'm here, right? <laughs> but that's not how life works, all right? There's gotta, act, there's gotta be an action, ooh. Some of you are going to be connecting here with a very loyal energy and damn, you're going to be shocked, right? Maybe uh, Scorpio, somebody might match your loyalty uh, and that might surprise you. A lot of you might not be used to that because, you know, that's typical. I feel like for some Scorpios, we're super loyal and it just, you know, it's like that. It's never matched the way that we are, right? So... Let's see, spirit guides, angels, ancestors. What other messages do we have for Scorpio? What other messages do we have for Scorpio? releasing, letting go, moving on, walking away. So when we've got options here, some of you have an option. Maybe you still have an ex or somebody has an ex or you haven't released or cut an energetic cord that needs to be cut here. Okay, this could be somebody that you're still considering an option, but there is, it's time to let something go, release and move on, walk away. All right, and there's two people here. So there's a moving on or walking away from an energy or an option. We've got self-love, self-growth, self-finding, nourishing yourself. So again, this is that energy of, look, you know, I know this isn't good for me. This isn't a good option. So I'm going to choose me over and again. Uh, alone but not lonely a lot of you have reached this part or this healing part of your journey where you're like you know what i don't need a motherfucker if i if i don't really excuse my language y'all y'all know me i don't need anybody i'm okay alone right you know you know how to be okay with self a lot of people don't know how to be okay with self a lot of people have to jump from person to person to person to person um this is telling somebody though you gotta you gotta release the next maybe there's somebody that comes in and out in and out you gotta stop the in and out cycle with this person all right you've done the work here now it's time to move forward what other messages do we have for scorpio i'm thinking about doing a live soon you guys let me know if you want me to do it again in the comments okay um hopeless energy falling apart so this person that you need to release made you feel like shit so there is no question as soon as i say that you should know who this person is and know that you don't need to ever ever go back right there's a lot of sinking despair falling apart what like let's like what is that that's not even anything worth fighting for right so it's kind of it's time to walk away from things that make you feel hopeless that make you feel sad uh that don't i'd rather i honestly would rather be all by my damn self right you know what i mean i know how to love myself better than that all right um but that does take growth right so some of you are definitely looking for family or a family dynamic here uh be careful here <laughs> two uh with options in dating if you're not looking to get pregnant there is parenthood pregnancy and fertility so you could be very fer fertile fertile i can't even talk for her fertile at this time so just be careful All right what other messages do we have longing craving wanting yeah so some of you are just really wanting this connection craving this energy, craving this connection, right? So it's like, I'm, I'm, you got to release the X. You got to release something here. There has to be a core cutting or releasing of something here. Um, it could be blocking, you know, an option or a situation. Yeah, this is somebody from a distance that you've been separated from. There could even be some type of blockages or you have blocked or there's space between you. You could be blocked, all right? You do have a secret admirer. This person is kind of shy. 
that they're reaching their breaking point when it comes to kind of like overcoming the shyness. They like you. Um, they're kind of like doing a little bit of research about you too. You got a secret admirer that's doing some research on you, Scorpio. I don't think it's a bad thing. Ugh. And then we've got somebody that wants a second chance again. Um, a return. So again, with the Seven of Cups, not surprised that came out at the beginning. Having options, Scorpio, having choices to make when it comes to love. You do have somebody coming back also from the past that possibly wants to make amends and have a second chance or see if there's even an opportunity. Yeah, um, this person is spying on you. They're still holding on to the idea that maybe, you know, there could be something here between the two of you. Uh, there was a lot of depth here between the connection. There was a deep connection there. But I'm getting there was a lot of back and forth. There was nothing solid and you felt better off. It's like this person confused you too much, right? So it's like you, you've cleared your head space and you feel happy right now. Um, realizations, right? It's like I don't want to be in this confusing energy. You can't make up your mind. Yeah, it created conflict. A nugget of energy clashing uh, felt, you know, like somebody was pushing you away. There could have been competition. This person could have been back and forth because they couldn't make up their mind. Yeah, there were secrets. And then, you know, you could have been chasing this person on top of it, which made them run. <laughs> All right. And we've got a divine masculine here. I could be speaking to a divine masculine or you could be, again, um, it says there were delays here in a situation where, again, not releasing this energy is keeping you from a divine masculine for my feminines. Take it how it resonates. Um, and it could be even a release of the heartbreak, the healing, right? You've got a soulmate coming in. Let's see, what else can you tell us about this? person equal give and take i like that you've got somebody coming in it could be an earth sign Taurus, for capricorn i just saw the six of pentacles but that also is a redistribution of energy here's a new beginning with the full card Taurus energy what other messages do we have for scorpio hair offense somebody that is traditional somebody that likes commitment somebody that likes tradition family yeah there's been a tower here but sometimes the tower has to happen in order for new things to come in, right? So what other messages do we have for Scorpio? Page of Wands. Somebody's messaging though. So there could be fun, flirty text messaging, connecting, uh, usually with the Page of Wands. Somebody kind of keeping an eye on you, watching you. They could be looking at your social media. But this is more about messages too. I feel like getting a message, sexting, flirty, energy yeah this is somebody that you know um wants a commitment uh you could be dealing with uh gemini virgo or taurus aries leo sag but this is somebody coming in that what that looks like because we've got manifesting a commitment here so their intentions are they're looking for someone to have a traditional relationship with okay why do we have the moon card coming out? All right. Somebody's got an ego. Seven of swords. There were lies here in a situation. I feel like this is the past. Wanting to communicate here. If you were treated unfairly, something could have happened through Leo season. Somebody made impulsive decisions in regard to sexual energy, having fun, partying. King of Swords, Energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, doesn't necessarily have to be. King of Pentacles. This person still watches you with a Knight of Swords. So again, you have some options, Scorpio. Um, final outcome, best advice for Scorpio and love. The Empress. This is you living your best life, stepping into a higher vibration. This is all about choosing to take care of yourself loving yourself nourishing yourself right so uh, i like that you know that's that's the best way to go right 
Um, there were secrets with the moon card and the seven of swords here too. Some of that could come out, but uh, I feel like this person might have such a big ego they don't want it to come out, right? They want you to see them in a certain light. There could be things coming out in regards to the past. First, maybe this is why it's time for you to release or you end up ready to release. All right. What other messages? I want a future with you. Okay. Let's see. So somebody you could be meeting could see a future with you, Scorpio. Damn. Then we've got somebody that feels like they can't go another day without you. Looks like you're going to have some decisions to make here when it comes to love. What other messages do we have? I'm sorry I hurt you. I didn't realize I had until it was gone. Here's the return. Wanting a second chance. All right. What other messages do we have for love for Scorpio? What other messages do we have for love for Scorpio? The distance between us kills me. So this is a person you could be, yeah, what was I talking about? Stuck in ego. A lot of times these are past person issue, uh, issues, <laughs> damn, <laughs> that could have been their issue. Um, messages. And then we've got, I want to treat you the way that you deserve. I feel like this is new person. Every time my phone rings, I hope it's you. So this is messaging new. Yeah, somebody waiting on maybe you to reach out. Again, I did pick up a 10-minute energy here. So it's kind of like who goes first here in a connection. Um, so let's see. Do one more message. What other messages do we have for Scorpio? a uh, younger earth sign doesn't have to be or somebody who has a lot of earth in their chart but this is also somebody who's kind of like um there it's like a guardian angel energy in real life this is a person who is like the knight in shining armor kind of an honorable loyal what would what did i say loyal uh dedicated energy here somebody who's not gonna let you down Yep, and wants to move forward with you with a chariot. The number seven could be significant in some way, shape, or form here. Eight of Pentacles. Some of you are thinking about going back to school, but you're very skilled with work here and what you do. So this is also just side note you know, uh, things going well with you with work. I think you might be learning something new that has to do with work. And then, yeah, a successful time and with money here, new opportunities offered to you. It's like everything you touch when in regards to money, it's like the Midas touch right now. So go Scorpio. I love this message. I like the little side note message, right? <laughs> anyway, it wasn't all love, but whatever came out, came out, right? There, there could, um, you're seeing the truth in this situation, okay? You, you've gained clarity. Here's the Ace of Swords, right? It, you, it just, we're gonna end it there. I love you guys. I hope this message is helpful. Or maybe you will gain clarity because you've got options and you're making decisions. I hope this message was helpful for someone. Until next time, lots of love and light. Bye.